Hey guys, my name's James and this is The Wrap, your weekly salvo of mobile news bombs. Riptide GP2 has finally been optimised for metal on iOS. This means those with fancy new iPhones and iPads will be treated to enhanced graphics, real-time lighting and shadows, and super smooth frame rates. The update also adds the new Park Hill Circuit and the Switchblade Hydrojet. We called it a fun little racer at review, but the steep difficulty curve and upgrade system can turn it into a bit of a grind. You can get it for 79p or 99 cents right now. As you may have heard, Guitar Hero is coming back in the form of Guitar Hero Live. What you may not know is that it's going to be available on mobile devices. According to Activision, this mobile version of Guitar Hero Live will actually be the same as the PS4 and Xbox One versions. Technically, that means gamers should be able to purchase the $100 retail bundle for their mobile devices as well, complete with the game and the guitar. If we're honest, it's all a little bit vague right now, but we will know more later on in the year. In an unexpectedly awesome move, Microsoft has just dropped Halo Spartan Assault and its sequel, Halo Spartan Strike, onto the App Store. These are twin-stick blasters where you wield weapons and drive vehicles from the Halo universe and blast loads of enemies. Each game's got 30 levels and loads of added challenges. Spartan Assault takes place just before the events of Halo 4, while Spartan Strike is going on during the Halo 2 timeline. In either case, you're mostly just shooting stuff and saving the world as usual. You can get Spartan Assault and Strike for £4.49 or $5.99 each, or buy them as a bundle for £8 or £10. Also out this week. Survival horror Lost Within has you trying to survive a haunted asylum inhabited by monsters and murderers who stalk the abandoned wards. You can create makeshift weapons, sneak past the baddies, or just run and hide in a cupboard. It's £4.99 or $6.99 on iOS. Also, Hearthstone's been out on iPad for ages, but has finally landed on the iPhone. Bar a few visual tweaks to cram the interface onto the smaller screen, this is the exact same game we've been addicted to for the past year or so. It's free to play and one of the best card games around, so iPhone owners should definitely take a look. And finally, Tiny Guardians is a tower defense game which turns the towers into people and sets them marching down a path through waves of enemies. With more than a dash of Kingdom Rush's art style and upgrade systems, this is a polished, if not revolutionary, addition to the genre. It's £2.99 or $3.99 on iOS right now. And that is a wrap. Go and check out pocketgamer.co.uk for all the new stories and visit AppSpy's YouTube channel for every single bit of mobile video action you could possibly want. Check it out right now. See you next week.